How do you and Troy feed off of each other's energy? Um, I don't know. Whenever someone makes a play, you know, just hyping up the other guy and just encouraging encouraging each other out there. You know, we do a good job of, of communicating in the box on like pre-snap things that we see that'll help us in our run fits and pass fits and stuff like that. So, from your perspective, what makes him such a an impressive athlete? I guess both athletically, but also just intellectually too. He's just he's just built differently, man. You know, he's. You don't see a lot of guys at 6'4", 240 move like that. And then you add on top that he's a extremely smart kid, you know, that just that helps a lot too. Just helps him get to places faster and make reads faster and everything, so. How much tape have you watched of Northern Colorado? Uh, I mean, Before I start getting into some questions. <laughs> I have watched zero tape of Northern Colorado. It's, I mean, we so Mondays we go through the, or I guess I've watched some, so that's a lie, but. Mondays we watch the game from the previous night. The Monday night we watch a little bit of Northern Colorado, and then this morning we watched a little bit of Northern Colorado. So I watched probably about an hour or two of film on them. What have you seen from them? And you know, new quarterback at the helm with them and Dylan McCaffrey, former big time Michigan quarterback, transferring over there. Oh yeah, I mean they run a pro style offense, so we'll definitely a lot a lot better for as far as the linebacker goes in Sac State. He even threw the ball. I mean Portland State he threw the ball around. So we'll get to be able to fit the run more. You know, they run a lot of like ISO lead zone stuff like that with the fullback. So more of a linebacker type game. So that'll be good for us. Coach Banks mentioned that it's kind of hard sometimes to to get run fits in practice because Chase Benson's clogging yeah. up the holes. Have you? What would you? How would you describe? I guess Chase. In, as a I team? mean, he's a great guy to have in front of you when you're playing linebacker. You know, he's gonna. He's gonna take two linemen, or he's gonna make the play, and he's just gonna blow up the backfield a lot of the time. So it makes my job a lot easier, and it's just fun to see him out there doing his thing. What is he like, personality-wise, just around the team? Chase, I love Chase. He's one of the most genuine guys I know. He's just super nice guy, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, and just he's fairly quiet. You know, he's a captain, doesn't say much, but he leads by example. That's for sure. Lewis was saying he kind of almost disarms people sometimes with his humor like he'll come out of nowhere with a joke or something yeah. is that do you see that yeah he's a pretty funny kid you know I, I enjoy being around Chase that's for sure and you know on the fields you know how, how much easier does he does he make your job he makes it a lot easier you know like like I said he'll take two on a double team and if the double team comes to the second level to get me then he'll uh, he'll get off his guy and make the play and there's times let's say I have a bad read he'll take two gaps instead of take like my gap for him you know he just does a great job of making plays and stuff like that what was your first impression of him when I guess you got here Chase well I knew Chase when I was in high school okay he was at Helena High and I was yeah. at Bozeman and I remember <laughs> we people he was just a monster and it's just like you just don't see guys built like that very often so I suppose were you playing against him uh at all uh I'd have to think back. I don't think that I never I never lined up like directly against him or anything like that, okay. but we played there in the playoffs my sophomore year and he was playing, so it's in, impressive even then. Yeah, impressive yeah. even then. It's the most impressive play that he's he's made that you can remember. Chase? Oh god, I mean the mo the craziest thing is you'll just see him just ragdoll an offensive lineman. Like there's these three hundred twenty pound guys and he'll grab them and just throw them out of the way and it's like, all right, man. <laughs> like I can't pinpoint one thing, but it's not as much like, it's plays that people might not see who are watching the game. It's not like a huge sack or a huge TFL, but it's just him taking two guys, bulldoze them out of the way. A great example of that is a Cacker's 2018 goal line stand. Everyone saw like Tucker throwing his guy in the forced fumble, but Chase drove his guy six yards into the backfield and make the running back cut it up. So stuff like that that people don't really see. It's impressive. Obviously a great amount of strength required for that. Is that something you can see in the weight room? Him? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> He throws around away like it's nothing. He's yeah. by far the strongest kid on the team. <laughs> yeah. Being a for former Bozeman athlete, what's it like to see the success of Lance McCutcheon? It's been awesome. Really cool to see. You know, Me and Lance have played travel basketball together since sixth grade. have played football together since freshman year. So we've been best friends since freshman year, and it's been awesome to see him. Obviously, he was a receiver when I was playing quarterback in high school. and just I knew, I've always known that he can make those type of plays, and he's shown it in practice and in games. Uh, in the previous years, but this year it's been awesome to see him break out and really rise to the occasion. How would you describe him off the field? Lance? Yeah. He's a good guy. He's funny. He's a funny guy. What's up with that he does that's funny? 
God, I don't know. He, uh, he, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. He doesn't. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> Turn you said you started sure. playing travel basketball in sixth grade together. Yeah, we. First time we played together was probably sixth or seventh grade. Okay. So we played all through middle school and basketball together in high school stuff too. So like, your friendship start, kind of started in basketball and then transitioned. To yeah, basketball. it was definitely started in basketball. We were traveling to like Las Vegas, Reno. All, play, all sorts of places doing travel basketball together. Who's the other basketball member? player? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, I don't know, it's hard to say. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys play basketball still now in the uh, off season? Uh, when was the last time you guys played basketball together? Shoot, it's been a minute. We, we used to play some pickup games over by that, that park behind Rosars over there. But we, we've done like five on five, just as like conditioning with the team and stuff. But I'd say I'm a better shooter than he is, but he's got me on the athletic part of it. <laughs> <laughs> when it when it ever known. Yeah. yeah. You got a very uh, Montana heavy linebacking core. How much pride do you do you guys take in that? I take a lot of pride in that, honestly. I'm, you know, like that's a position where it's just like that's like a Montana kid position. Like it's just like you want to have like that Montana toughness to you and that Montana physicality to you. And I take a lot of pride in that position, just being Montana kids. It's been like that for a long time. Like guys like Mac McNeil, Josh Hill, guys who I learned from. So I just want to keep that tradition going. And the Grizz have have kind of the same setup too. Yeah. Do you, you kind of you guys compare yourselves to them as far as Montana linebackers? Uh, I wouldn't say I compare myself to them. I mean, but I know a lot of those guys, and I played in high school with a lot of those guys. So it's cool to see them playing and stuff. You know, I think we've talked about this before, but Lance, you know, Justice now starting at center. What does it say about the Bozeman High program that, you know, you guys can come over here and stand out like the way you have? Yeah, I think it just says a lot about uh, the mentors we had in high school. You know, Coach Weshi, one of my really good friends and coaches, and all the other coaches that were there, some other guys like Coach Thatcher, Coach Boyle, those are some guys who coached us, and they're just great mentors as far as, like what you need to do to be successful off the field and on the field and stuff like that. So I think it says a lot about their coaching and their mentorship style. So, what what is it about Weshi that uh, kind of sets you guys up for success, both in high school and now even in college? Uh, I think just you know he has high expectations, people especially in the off season and being there with your team and doing all the workouts and stuff like that that it takes to get you to the next level. You know he's just a great coach. What is he like personality wise? Weshi? Yeah. From your perspective, he's a he's a pretty lighthearted guy. You know, he's he's a good guy to be around. When I first got to when I first got to high school, he was the O line coach, and he, um, people said that he was a huge like hard ass and like would get on people all the time. But since he became the head coach, you know, he just like he's got more lighthearted and just tries to be more of an encourager and stuff like that than really getting after people. But he's a good guy.